Good morning and happy Wednesday. It's Earth Day today um, and Sunday. I sent you guys an email just checking in, seeing how things are going. Um, and then we sent an email out yesterday um, telling you guys what the future is of the school for the remainder of the school year and into the summer program. Um, now that you've received both those emails, um, I'd love for you guys to email me back and let me know your thoughts, how I can improve and make this a better experience for you guys for the remainder of the school year. I thought it'd be kind of fun to switch things up today. So we're gonna do Duo Duo, and then I'm gonna read two books, and then we're gonna finish it off with our days of the week, months of the year, and Apple Apple. So we'll start with Duo Duo. So, Joseph, Joseph, Duo Duo, Joseph, Joseph, Duo Duo, Joseph, Joseph, Duo Duo. Shake those fingers down. Wyatt, Wyatt, do wo do wo Wyatt, Wyatt, do wo do wo Wyatt, Wyatt, do wo do wo Shake those fingers down. Mateo, Mateo, do wo do wo Mateo, Mateo, do wo do wo Mateo, Mateo, do wo do wo Shake those fingers down. Ari, Ari, do wo do wo Ari, Ari, do wo do wo Ari, Ari, do wo do wo Shake those fingers down. Carter, Carter, do wo do wo Carter, Carter, do wo do wo Carter, Carter, do wo do wo Shake those fingers down. Grace, Grace, do wo do wo Grace, Grace, do wo do wo Grace, Grace, do wo do wo Shake those fingers. Down. Annika, Annika, do wo do wo. Annika, Annika, do wo do wo. Annika, Annika, do wo do wo. Shake those fingers down. Great job, you guys. So, with it being Earth Day today, I thought we would read two books that deal with um, the outdoors and planting. So, the first book we're going to be read is one of my favorites, which I've read before, which is Grow Flower Grow. And then we're going to read and look through my very first outdoor book. So, we'll start with Grow, Flower, Grow. Grow, Flower, Grow. All the flowers and the bumblebees. Grow, Flower, Grow. One day, Fran found a flower pot filled with soil. Poking out of the top was a tiny green tip. I will grow this flower, Fran said to Fred. So there's Fran, she's holding the flower pot. <gasps> Do you see the little green tip of the baby plant? And Fred is her puppy. What do puppies say? Woof, woof. She took it home. Grow flower, she said. But the tip stayed tiny. Hmm. Don't know if flowers grow if you just tell them to do so. I think you have to give them some things. I think the flower is hungry, Fran said. So Fran went to the fridge and inside she found some of her favorite food. <gasps> so she's thinking, hmm, when I want to grow big, I eat food. So maybe that's what the plant needs. She gave the flower a slice of pizza. The next day, Fran gave him a piece of cheeseburger. Hmm. Do we give plants pizza or cheeseburgers? Hmm. I don't know, friends. Maybe the book will tell us. Then she gave it spaghetti two chocolate chip cookies, and a large spoonful of strawberry ice cream. Look at that plant. Hmm. There's the cookies, and the ice cream, and the spaghetti. Oh, I still don't know if that's what plants eat. Do you think plants eat that? Does Carrie eat that? She even gave it one of Fred's bones. <gasps> Getting a dog bone because what Fred eats. Hmm. But the flower didn't grow. The 
Kip stayed tiny and Fran got fed up. Look at her face. Is that a happy face? She looks very frustrated. Silly flower, Fran said, and she threw it out the back door. <gasps> that is not very nice. She got frustrated and wasn't patient, and the flower didn't grow. So she threw it outside. The flower pot fell into the ground and it rolled away. While outside, the rain fell on it. It's getting water, and there's a snail with an umbrella, and they're looking outside, wishing they could go out and play. The wind blew on it. It's getting air. And the sun shone upon it. Look, the sun came out and oh, do you notice what's happened? Finally, the tiny green tip grew and grew and grew until one day Fran and Fred went outside to play. When they opened up the door, a surprise is waiting. Look, she's getting her shoes on all by herself and getting ready to go outside. Oh, whoa. A big, beautiful flower just for Fran. Wow. So we learned in that book that plants don't eat people food. They don't eat pizza or gummies or Lunchables. Plants need air and water and sunlight to grow and be big and strong like us. So this is called My Very First Outdoor Book. And we have quite a few of these in our classroom. Um, I've got a space book, and they're really great books that we can, we'll kind of go through this one. There's a lot of words, so we'll just talk through it. So, heading outside. The outdoors is full of interesting things to do and see. Before you start exploring, you'll need to have the right gear and find a grown up to go outside with you. So, we have a little girl here. <gasps> And she's got a warm hat or a sun hat. So in the winter, when it's kind of chilly, we wear our warm hats outside. Um, and then in the sun, in the summer, we wear a sun hat to protect our face and our skin from the sun so we don't get sunburned. We've got a waterproof jacket and some waterproof leg wear. So when it's raining, we can go outside in the rain and not get so wet. We've got a fleece jacket for when it's a little chilly outside, we need some warmth. We've got sturdy shoes or sandals, a water bottle, some snacks, a backpack, and then a notebook, a pencil to take some notes. Wherever you live, there are lots of things to do outdoors. So here's some activities. So you can have a picnic, you can build a den, go camping, go walking, bird watching, bug spotting, Wildlife watching, pond dipping, beach combing, cloud watching, leaf spotting, and stargazing. From watching different types of animals to discovering things in the sky or the ground. These would be some great things that you guys could do on Earth Day. Go find some bugs and go on a walk. The national parks are opening up on Friday. Sun and wind. There are lots of things to look out for when it's sunny or windy. On a sunny day, you might spot some of these things. To make a simple sun shelter, you can string a washing line between two trees and chairs and hang a sheet or a blanket over it. So look, she made a tiny little tent. So on the sun and wind day, it shows like you can see shadows, a lizard basking in the sun, a dog panting, some butterflies. In windy weather, you might see things like, and there's clouds moving, birds being blown around, kites, flags, ooh, flags flopping around. Bugs and slugs. So, bugs, slugs, and other creepy crawlies are easy to spot when you're out and about messy corners with plenty of weeds, sticks, and dead leaves are good places to look. So there's all these bugs. Oh, there's a snail down here and a worm. And there's some bees. There's a wasp, a grasshopper, and a 
ladybug. Beach combing. Beaches are great places to spot things such as seashells and driftwood and pebbles. Sometimes they're washed up on the waves, especially after a storm. At school, we have seashell washing. So that's something you can do is we can go outside and go find some objects like these pebbles, or sea glass, or some shells and wash, practice washing them. Rain can fall from clouds when it's hot and when it's cold. It's good for plants and animals, giving them water to drink. So on rainy days, you can see rainbows and dark clouds. There might be lightning and thunder. Um, rain will come down the gutters. You'll find puddles outside. Um, when it's raining outside, you might hear thunder as a sound of lightning. And if you see lightning, you should count slowly until you hear the thunder. If you get to three or more, it means that the storm is far away. If you don't get that far, it means the storm is close by. When it rains, you can jump in puddles. You can catch raindrops on your tongue. You can count worms, slugs, and snails. <gasps> Race sticks or leaves. Make rain music. So look, she took pots and pans outside. See? And it's listening to the sounds. You can make mud pies or make watery drawings. Sometimes we bring mud inside our classroom and we paint with mud or we do truck washing. Trees and leaves grow in many shapes and sizes. Some trees are tall and thin, some have wide spreading branches, and some have pointed shapes. Trees lose all their leaves in the winter, and, they, and then they come back in the summer. Apple trees are dectorous. This is how they change up the year. So look at this, this is the season of an apple tree. So you have spring, it gets its leaves, summer, fall to winter. Different trees have different types of leaves, fruit, and seeds. Those are all the different types of leaves. Sometimes when the weather is very cold, there's snow and ice. It's a great time to wrap up and head outdoors for explore. So growing up, Miss Carrie got to do these a lot. So go sledding down a hill, having a snowball fight, making footprints in the snow, finding tracks, making a snow angel. Wind can blow into a snow pile called a snow drift. To find a, how tall a snow drift is, you can push a long stick into it and compare different snow drifts to find the deepest one. Snow is made of lots of tiny little crystals. You can see this more clearly with a magnifying glass. Here are some shapes you might spot. Pond dipping. Water plants give homes and food to many types of birds, fish, bugs, and other creatures. So there are lots of things to spot around ponds and lakes and rivers. So you can see there's frogs and toads and newts and dragonflies and fish. Animal tracks. Wild animals often leave clues where they live, such as footprints, droppings, or teeth marks. If you're very quiet and patient, you might even see some animals. So we have a frog foot, elk, rabbit, squirrel, bear, deer, fox, lizard, otter, badger, hedgehog, wolf, beaver, raccoon, and mouse. Look out for holes in the ground dug by animals and different kinds of animal droppings. You can see all the different animals. This is one of Miss Carrie's favorite things to do in the summer is stargazing. The best time to see stars is on a cloudless night when the moon is too bright. It can be cold at night, so wrap up warm. It's more comfortable if you lie down or sit on a blanket and bring snacks. We're looking at the stars and the constellation. Oh, all about flowers. Flowers come in many shapes and sizes. They help plants to make seeds so new plants can grow. Some flowers grow on stalks, like dandelions, some on bushy plants, like a wild rose, and some on trees, like magnolia. 
different flowers come out at different times of the year. So daffodils come in the spring, cornflowers come in the summer, and slothmen come in the fall, and snowdrops come in the winter. Some flowers, such as California poppies, turn to face the sun as it moves across the sky. This is how flowers have strawberry plants to make seeds. So here's a strawberry plant, and you really like strawberries. And there's flowers up here, so the bees come and they take pollen from the flowers and they spread it. So we got strawberry plants. <gasps> Bird watching. Birds live in all parts of the world, so wherever you are, there are always birds to spot. Just looking out your window is a great place to start. So some of my friends might have bird houses outside or bird baths, you can check. Here are some different, type, ooh, different types of birds. There's ducks and geese and eagles, some really bright birds. In the clouds. Clouds are made of tiny drops of water or ice. There are lots of different clouds to spot. Some are wispy and high, others are fluffy and low. Each type of cloud has a different name. So low thin clouds are made mostly of tiny water droplets and those are called stratus and they make rain sometimes. Cumulombus are tall clouds. Then nimbostratus are clouds that make rain or snow. And you have Feathery clouds, like serious clouds. You have cumulus clouds that make patchy ripples. Um, Autoclumulus clouds. Autostratus clouds, lenticular clouds, cumulus clouds. And then moon watching. The moon is definitely easy to spot in the night sky, but it looks different at different times. If you look carefully, you can see pale and dark splashes on its surface. So oh, these are the phases of the moon. An activity, if your child's interested in this, is to use Oreos. And you can cut the frosting to look like that. And this is taking care. There are lots of exciting things to see and do outdoors, but it's important to stay safe and respect wildlife. Always take a grown-up with you and follow tips. So if it's sunny, you should wear a hat and sunscreen. Bring waterproof clothes in case it rains. Take a bottle of water with you, especially when it gets really hot in the summer. Don't pick wildflowers, leaves, or plants. Take a glove and gloves and a hat when it's cold. Stay on paths and tracks so you don't get lost. Leave gates closed behind you. Keep away from rivers and ocean waves. Don't step in water if you don't know how deep it is. There's don't drink from water from streams and rivers. Keep a safe distance from wild animals. Avoid climbing on steep banks and rocky steps. Stay well back from cliff edges. Don't eat anything that grows in the wild. And then always put things back after you've finished with them. Awesome friends. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna sing Days of the week, months of the year, and then apple, apple. So, hands up. There's Sunday and there's Monday. There's Tuesday and there's Wednesday. There's Thursday and there's Friday. And then there's Saturday. Days of the week. 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 Okay. Now we'll do our months of the year. So. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, and August, September, October, November, December, these are the months of the year. Yay! Great job, you guys. All right, we're gonna finish off with apple, apple. So, do you know these letter sounds? Do you know these letter sounds? They will help you learn to read. They will help you learn to read. 
Apple, apple, eh, eh, eh. Apple, apple, eh, eh, eh. Banana, banana, ba, ba, ba. Banana, banana, ba, ba, ba. Car, car, k, k, k. Car, car, k, k, k. Dog, dog, da, da, da. Dog, dog, da, da, da. Elephant, elephant, eh, eh, eh. Elephant, elephant, eh, eh, eh. Flashlight, flashlight, f, f, f. Flashlight, flashlight, f, f, f. Grapes, grapes, g, g, g. Grapes, grapes, g, g, g. Ha 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 ice cream ice cream eh 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 ice cream ice cream eh 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 jug jug ja 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 jug jug ja 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 keys keys Keys, keys, k, k, k. Lamp, lamp, ooh, ooh, ooh. Lamp, lamp, ooh, ooh, ooh. Mug, mug, mm, mm, mm. Mug, mug, mm, mm, mm. Nest, nest, mm, mm, mm. Nest, nest, mm, mm, mm. Oranges, oranges, oh, oh, oh. Oranges, oranges, oh, oh, oh. Pencil, pencil, p, p, p. Pencil, pencil, p, p, p. Quarters, quarters, qua, qua, qua. Quarters, quarters, qua, qua, qua. Rock, rock, r, r, r. Rock, rock, rr, rr, rr. Salt, salt, s, s, s. salt, salt, s, s, s. tomato, tomato, t, t, t. tomato, tomato, t, t, t. umbrella, umbrella, uh, uh, uh. umbrella, umbrella, uh, uh, uh. Violin, violin, <laughs> violin, violin, <laughs> waffles, waffles, wah, 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 waffles, waffles, wah, 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 x ray, x ray, x, 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 x ray, x ray, x, 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 yarn, yarn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yarn, yarn, yeah, yeah, yeah. Zebra, zebra, z, z, z. Zebra, zebra, z, z, z. Great job, you guys. Thank you, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.